Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Homebrew video. So today I'm brewing this fella. Magnum Wine Kit. Uh, the medium dry white. So I'm going to need this. Four kilos of sugar. Two and a half boils of the kettle. So first things first, let me get the kettle boiling. Well, this is already boiled rather. So yeah, off camera with that. Obviously everything's sterilised. Cleanliness is godliness. I mean, in the middle of what we're in at the moment, cleanliness has never ever been so much of an issue. As we know. Right, that's on. So now, the sugar. Pour the sugar in. It always seems to be the thing, you get a leaky bag of the sugar. One lot, one kettle full of water, four kilos of sugar. Time to stir. Now it always seems to stir better after the second kettle. Like your coffee, your tea, sugar, it's in, in it's you know, when you do that in your cup, uh, stir until you feel no resistance. So, while that's stirring, I'm gonna open the tin up. Oh, these tins are never the easiest, Jesus Christ. If, if you're really old and you're struggling, then get somebody who's got stronger hands. Because I tell you now, they're not the easiest. So, that's done. I'll just show you the tin. There you go, there's the tin. That's, that's the open. And what you also get, obviously, is wine yeast and nutrient you'll need that straight away you've got your finings you won't need that for a while so don't worry about that stabilizer you won't need that for a while thing to do though is keep this and keep it with your fermenter so that at least you know where they are right just waiting for that kettle to boil so yeah, these Magnum kits, they're under 20 quid, and that's delivered. You can get them cheaper. Um, if you go to somewhere, I think it's Creative Wine Making, you get for that 13, 14 quid. But you have to order, say, 50 quid to get free delivery. So if you're going to do it, it's worth, get, it's worth triggering that free delivery. Otherwise, it's six quid. So then you're paying more out for delivery. It swings and roundabouts. Obviously, it depends how much money you've got and how much you want to brew. You might want to brew do two or three brews in one go, like I, I do on occasion. Right, the kettle's nearly done, so quickly get that one in. Pour, put the kettle on again, another half a kettle, and uh, get this cracking. I want to be sat down and chilling, get some dinner down there. Not work in the morning. I'm half hoping the lockdown doesn't uh, come off because if my workplace to pay me for one day or two days a week, a full week, then great. If the lockdown comes off, then I'll be back at work all bloody week. So it's actually been nice. There you go. Now wait 
for the kettle to stop boiling because you know what's going to happen. It splatters out and then you get you get um, That's about six litres. I think in total you're going to want about eight litres, seven to eight litres of um, hot water. Or for me, two and a half kettlefuls, no more than that. Yeah. Right. So, get me stirring that again. You keep stirring until there's no. Um, resistance from sugar. Give me a shock. Right. So now I've done that, now I can pour the wine juice in. I'm going to use the hot water to swill out the wine juice, the remainder, and I'll start filling the cold water. It's so quite a quick way to get it done there. But I want to go up to around about 24 litres. This makes 23 litres of wine, but I always do it to about 24. Because you, you lose a good litre at the bottom. Obviously, like anything, everything should be sterilised before you start using it, or at least clean. Sterilising more, more for you know. So we're up to seven, nearly eight minutes now. Should get this done in about the next two or three minutes. Myself. Sometimes you can rush too fast. Just gonna show you, we all make mistakes. So now I'm pouring the hot water into the can and I'm gonna use the stirrer just to stir it round because what we want 
is every last little bit of the syrupy grape stuff, you know, because we want that so we can make the wine. So as much of the nose use the towel because it gets hot. Right, one clean can. And one chuffing our can as well. And that, I just want to get it up to the mark. 24 litres. See, I did have it marked out, I've just got a little bit more to go. And that's the 24 litres marked out. Well, up to the 24 litres. So now, quick stir. Although, to be fair, it's not really needed because when I walk it down to the shed, it's going to get enough of a stir, stir, a stir rather. Yeast. And uh, well, there we have it. It's quite clear already. Um, lid's going up. Just make sure I've got some water in the airlock. And in the space of two to three weeks, roughly, depending on how hot the shed gets, that should be it. That's nice and sealed. 24 litres, and it's as easy as that. Obviously, don't splash your TV with water, like I just did. And that's it really. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll get some updates in a few days time when I see what it does. Cheers.